So hi you guys, um, if you look at this table in our database ref categories, you see that the way we want our platform to work is user signs up and then there are categories and then of course there are levels that they can get to. So now a user, when the user signs up, they, they get to create categories, you understand? So um, we are trying to make sure that we are able to tie each created category to the user that created it so we need to add a user id column here all right so um let's quickly edit this which means we'll still go to our migration and edit it so here on the name i'm just gonna add user id it doesn't really matter where you place it but uh, with user id we are able to track uh, the person that created this so i'll make it null and not null label no and um, what else collaboration i think everything is okay we'll click save so uh kind of makes sense right now all right so which means we'll have to go to migration for user levels i'll close this go to database migrations for ref category ref level so ref category in ref category we have um string make it integer integer then we'll make it user id user underscore id so, so that we can track the user that created this beautiful now um i think generally the next thing we need is um now we go to a database since i'm the first user that signed up i want to um attach these to myself hit enter it needs to be on my id i'm just manually doing it so that we can our next query will work so if we get back to our application right now and click on ref uh, categories uh, it will be easy to see that we have three categories here right so but i don't like the design uh, what if i change the design or what if i add a new column here that tells me how how long or how much so let's go to the design and look at something in the resources we'll go to view and we're looking for the folder for ref category ref categories and then uh this is the index page so let us look at index um index the index page imports the table you see the index page imports the table so we'll go to table all right now we're in the table we're looking at the, the this html is what made up uh this um, table so if you look at it critically you see that um there is a, a for each this is a table you see html table then there is a for each that loops through only one row you see that row has only two columns there's a column here and then there is a column here that's it so now we've got we figured out what's happening let's create new columns i'll do this and say the next one is my ref url referral url all right then the next one is um uh referrals just the number of people is gonna be yeah, not the number of people that referred we've referred so far let's go and see what it looks like so we created the header we added you see we added referral url we added referrals and okay so now let's go back to our code and um, add the columns for it so we added two extra columns so if we go back now the table should look better but then it will be a facebook facebook twitter twitter okay so now we're supposed to add referral count and um it's gonna be something we're gonna add in the future for now we should put default to zero now we need to generate a url for this um, referral for me it's gonna be simple the route uh, we're gonna do a route and where the route points to is simple the route points to um ref we're gonna create this route it doesn't exist yet ref slash the id this um ref category id i i understand uh you may be confused about what i'm doing now but it's gonna make sense pretty soon so uh if we refresh this it should throw an error because this doesn't exist so let's confirm that it throws an error first refresh 
and um, it's going to tell us that there's a route that is missing okay very much as expected this doesn't exist all right so let's see in the next video all right where we'll fix this error